Hi everyone and welcome back to another video from Ward Antiques. What I wanted to do today was um, see kind of how much punishment one of these Wedgwood Jasperware pieces can actually take. Bought quite a few pieces recently uh, which have had some sort of marks on and whilst most of them have come off well I've been cleaning them very very gently. I really wanted to see just how much sort of pressure and what sort of cleaners I can get away with and almost to a degree try and uh, try and destroy the item as much as I hate to say it, just to see how far I can push it on when we get to a slightly better piece. So I bought this um, little heart-shaped trinket box, um, is a Wedgwood Jasper, um, very worn um, and obviously very, very dirty, which was the idea. I really wanted to get something that, that doesn't matter if something goes wrong with, um, and also that obviously needs very, very much a good clean. So hopefully this is gonna bring it up like new. Um, alternatively, I'll see sort of how far I can push it with uh, with household cleaners. Um, so really like this actually. Um, it's not as, as nice as some of the other pieces we've had recently, but uh, for, for a very cheap item, uh, it's, it's actually quite pleasant. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this lid off, which has obviously got the majority of the um, of the detail on it, uh, which again, hopefully it comes up on the camera, is very gray and washed out. Um, something I've always been quite scared of is actually using bleach on these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this into some bleach for a couple of hours and see what happens. Right, so obviously I want to take care not to get bleach everywhere. So we're just gonna put this lid into an old ice cream tub. And funnily enough, the only bleach I've got left in the house is thick bleach, pink passion. So I might well add some pleasant smells to the piece afterwards. So let's give that a good coating in bleach, um, leave it for a couple of hours and see what the result is of that. Okay, so whilst the uh, lid is in the tub of bleach uh, for a couple of hours, two or three hours I'm gonna leave it, uh, we'll get to work on the bottom piece, um, which is again, pretty grubby. Uh, most of this will come off with just wiping, however I really want to put some pressure on it and see what see what happens to the, to the finish really. Um, typically I'll use just soapy water on this, however today we're gonna to use a spray cleaner with some bleach and see what the responses are. Now, as I've said before, um, I'm usually really, really gentle with this. Um, however, today I just want to put some pressure on it, almost try to get it scratched um, to see what reaction the, uh, the finish is gonna give us. So, as you can see, it quite quickly um, takes the, the marks off. Um, so really, I'll have to put some effort into actually try and really damage the piece. Um, so as I say, when I want to, to sort of clean up one of my better pieces, I want to see how far I can push it uh, without actually damaging it um, fully. So there's quite a deep mark here. Um, hopefully that sees on the camera, which again, usually I'll be a little bit too scared to actually put some serious pressure on to clean off. Um, but from what we can see so far, with the scouring side, um, that has actually lifted that quite nicely. And the finish, whilst it's wet at least, looked un undamaged altogether. So I spent quite a bit of time cleaning up the bottom piece um, and actually putting some real pressure into it and not taking any care at all. Um, it's nice to see that the majority of the marks have actually come off, or pretty much all the marks have come off, um, and there's no damage done to the Jasper Ware. So, there's one more test I wanted to do, which I will show you now. And that test is to use a really, really coarse brush and a bleach pen um, to see if we can get some damage done to the Jasper Ware with this. Okay, so we're gonna use the bleach brush onto some of the white detail here. Um, and then obviously just cover onto the, the blue Jasper from there as well um, to see what, what effect it has on the finish really. This stuff actually works wonders in cleaning tiles and the like. Um, so let's see what it does to this. And again, using a really coarse brush, uh, which I would typically be, uh, be worried about doing on a, on a different piece. Again, just adding a lot of pressure onto this to really see if I can get that surface to scratch. Right, so I've gone all out in, um, in washing onto that and brushing onto it. Um, so just rinsing it off and we'll see what difference it makes. Now, I don't know if that shows up on the camera, uh, but that has really brightened up the, the white to the left hand side. 
Um, so obviously it's, it's an effective cleaner and there's been no damage done to the Jasperware at all. So, so far so good. Um, looks like we can certainly put some, some real pressure on these uh, with cleaning them with scours and the likes. We'll definitely don't need to be as scared in the future. Um, however, obviously if this was a more expensive or rarer piece, probably would still take it a little bit easy. But let's have a look now at what the lid's done after being in the bleach for just over three hours now. Right, so I've not done any additional cleaning to the lid. Um, however, I've put it face down to see if we can brighten it up. So it has just sat in the bleach to allow it to sort of soak in. Um, and yeah, no damage done, certainly from what I can see. But let's rinse off all the bleach and see what happens um, underneath. Okay, so it's rinsing off the bleach. Um, as I've said, it doesn't look like there's been any, any damage to the, to the surface, but we'll see how clean that's got it. Again, I'm not sort of beating around the bush when I'm washing this off now. Um, so I'll get I'll put some real effort into it again. Uh, I'll probably use a brush again, and we'll see if that can kind of damage it, really. Right, so this has sat in bleach for three hours. Um, I had a really, really hard scrub uh, with the scourer and not a mark on it. And again, it's nice to see that all the, uh, all the dirt from before has been lifted as well. So, needless to say, Jasperware is very, very durable. Uh, I'm certainly gonna put a bit, more, um, a bit more strength into the cleaning in future. However, obviously, if I've got a really, really rare piece or expensive piece, I'd still take very, very good care of it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Um, please do give it a, a like and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with anything we do in the future. Thanks.